Hey everyone, today we are going to install uh, headlights on the Mazda today. Um, here's what I got. I got the Sylvania Silver Star Ultras, uh, high and low beams, that will be installing on the car today. Let me uh, let you see the difference. These are right now are going to be the standard bulbs. So there's the lows and the highs. The lows here. Show you the highs. So on this one, low beams, high beams on this car. Oh. Okay. So, as you can see, that is going to be the high beam, and the low beam is going to be somewhere way over here, which might suck. I think it's that down in there. I see it. And that one. That one there. And this one is right back in there. That one's not too bad. This one I think we just gotta move the windshield wiper fluid hose. Push it off to the side there for the high beam. Hopefully that's a good angle for you. Um, I am gonna use uh, nitrile gloves. The smoke gloves. Tab you gotta push. So then pop out that bulb. Any headlight bulb you wanna use gloves so you don't get your oils off your hands on the bulb and tends to burn out faster. Find the hole. That's what she said. Installed. What I ended up doing is actually taking the plug off of the bulb and just inserting the bulb first and then plugging it back in. It definitely made it a little easier since the wiring is only so long. Definitely a little old. Oh, there we go. Now we're gonna 
move on to the high beam, which is that bulb down there. So hopefully. Yes, sir. Not quite as bad. You can definitely see a blue reflection in there. They're definitely bright. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Definitely a little whiter, bread huh? Yeah. You can see like the blue tint in them. Compared to this side, you can see on the wall. Um, also, don't forget to, there's a wire, you can see that wire right there. I hooked them back up, or just slid them back in their slots so they don't move. And then the washer fluid um, hose, tubing, not hose. We'll get that back in its slot here. Well, let's see. I will more than likely have to take this air box off of here. Bulb. I believe that's the high beam and the low beam. Oh boy, is way back there. Start with the easier one first. See if I can just remove the clip first. And this one luckily has a longer cable on it. So the airbox does have two little clips here, or three clips in the back. Let's see if I can move it, but it slides right in there at three different points before you can snap in the clips here. That's it for uh, installing the headlights. 
took about half hour maybe um, to do the highs and lows. Um, I have seen some people uh, do it from the wheel well where you actually do have to turn the wheel, uh, pop out all the little clips and do it from that way. Um, I did not want to do that so I did go through the top of the engine bay. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping it for the first time, please subscribe and have a great day.